guys welcome back to watercolor Wednesdays it's been weeks and I'm maybe months or a month or something like that since I did a video but yeah I I've been busy and now I'm back hopefully I'm gonna keep it going unless you know life happens so yeah um today I am doing a bigger piece it is a 20 by 20 20 by 30 inch canvas um today i am showing the actual sketching process which i usually do not usually i just go right into painting and do the sketching off camera but this time i decided to you know show you the actual sketching process because that is the main thing you cannot some people do paint without sketches but still you know they have to make up their mind first so this is me drawing on everything the way i wanted That is my big eraser for my big canvas. <laughs> but yeah. So I am doing the blue mosque this time. And I'm just trying to sketch it all out. See where I want each part of the mosque to go. To make sure that it is properly spaced out. And properly, you know, placed in its right place. <laughs> so that it's, it doesn't look disoriented and stuff like that. And, um, I did this piece a while back. It's not, like, from today or a day ago or something like that. But I just never got time to edit it. And you saw my bird just a while ago. She will make another entry. So, you get to see her for a little bit longer. <clears throat> I do keep them open, so that's why, you know, they can come into my videos at times or they do come into my videos at times I don't keep them open so they come but yeah there she is that is basil and I have two more which do not like to show up in my videos <laughs> so yeah but yep so the reason another reason why I guess I do show that I did show the sketching this time is to you know really emphasize all the effort and the time that goes into sketching. Sketching takes most of the time. Painting is still relatively easy because you you have got everything planned out in front of you. You know where you want what to go. So yeah. <coughs> I think, okay, I completed this whole project in one day. And did I take a break in between? I don't think so. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't start from like morning till night or something. But it did take me quite a few hours to do this. So I had only one day the next day. Because I was making this as a gift for someone. So the next day I had to give it to them in the evening or in the afternoon. Yeah, I got it done. <laughs> And stuff happened too, which I will tell you later on. But I changed my location. I went to a different place. Because it is a big canvas, I needed a different, you know, place to sit down and do all of the painting so I could access it easily and record it easily as well. Plus, I wanted to sit with my family this time. So this was just me sitting in the living room with my stuff on the floor and my mom and my brother were sitting and talking and his kids were playing around you might see one in a little bit but yeah so you see me coloring in the trees and the bushes and I really like doing that first of all the color and then the texture that was coming from the technique that I used to paint it like it's not all colored green you can see different shades in there there's some white spaces and you know it just gives a nice textured look. So let me tell you that my canvas right now, it is not um, prepared for watercolor, I guess. But the canvases are these ones, or most of them are usually for acrylics and oil paintings. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> my throat is messed up a little bit. So yeah, so these canvases, they're usually for acrylic paints or oil paints. 
and I've been using them for watercolors for such a long time I didn't even think you know that maybe they have something for watercolor but I did find them recently so most probably my next canvas video will be on a watercolor canvas because I bought one <laughs> I just need to get time to you know make something but yeah so you will see right now it looks fine but you will see later on when I do the background that the water is not actually being absorbed by the canvas which watercolor usually needs to happen so I had to let it sit for a while for it to actually you know dry up and give me the result and I, and I I'll tell you later <laughs> I had a little bit of difficulties <laughs> but yeah so right now I'm putting in the darker layer of my bushes and trees the ones that are in the back or inside a little and you can see that I sketched the whole thing out it's right there in front of y'all and <clears throat> I am just painting um, just just watching myself paint makes me want to paint. <laughs> I, I know you guys probably feel the same way. You guys are like, give me a brush. I need to paint. I can paint now. <laughs> but yeah, it's really peaceful, I guess, and fun to, you know, it's even, f it's even more fun when you use your hands. Like I was watching my old pastel art video and I was like as I was watching I just wanted to you know use my hands and get my pastels out pastels out and I was like I'm gonna use this I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw but I was like hold your horses we gotta edit a video right now because it's been so long since I did anything and now I am just coloring in the Oh my god, <laughs> how can I forget the name? I, I, the word is just not in my head right now, but I'm coloring in the top part. <laughs> Minarets? No, those are the long ones, aren't they? What, 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 the domes, the domes. So I am coloring in the domes of the mosque right now. And okay, so the cool part was when I gave it to whoever I was going to give this to, like, I showed it to her and she was like, oh, it's the blue mosque. I was like, dang. And then I was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God she, like, recognized it. That, see, when someone recognizes what you drew, it is a big accomplishment. Because you're like, yes, I drew something and it came out good. And, you know, it came out what it should have come out to be <laughs> so the other person knew what it is so you know if it feels really good it feels really good <laughs> anyways they all really liked it everyone who saw it at the end they were like wow it looks so nice and this and that and she hung it like in her main house in the main room <laughs> not main house because <laughs> i think she only has four but yeah yeah and now you can see my niece's head right there <laughs> so i gave her a canvas to work on but then she wanted to work on mine <laughs> and she kept touching it and i kept telling her don't touch the wet spot so she found a dry one and she's like can i touch this can i touch this and she kept on touching it so that is what you see her doing in the video yep <clears throat> so this video is a little bit longer than my older ones because it was a bigger project and you know obviously it took more time there was a it was a bigger area and it all and then it took time <laughs> because it was big <laughs> so yeah I did try to cut out some things but I also wanted to show most of it because you know they need to be seen. By the way, I am using my White Knights Professional Level watercolors and my 
aqua brushes of I don't know what brand it is but it is either Korean Chinese or Japanese because <laughs> I cannot read it and this brush is a different brush <laughs> but this is the biggest brush that I have and it's a beast when it's dry it's like so soft but yeah so I needed something big to cover, you know, to color in the background, and that's what I'm doing. And <laughs> so just right before this, my camera fell, and it fell on the canvas, and it ripped my canvas. So you can probably see two lines on the side of the minar on the right. Yep, it was sad. <laughs> I, I wanted to cry I was like dude I did all of this and now it's you know messed up but we fixed it we got it taped up and then I did some stuff at the end so you can barely tell but it looks really um non-ripped at the end <laughs> so yeah I'm just I'm just putting down watercolor and I'm adding more and more um of the pigments because it keeps it's it's just too light and again it's mostly because the canvas it was not primed and it was not prepared for watercolor again I didn't know how or I didn't even think that you know it needed it I would have worked like this and I use like more and more of the pigments but I get it to look the way I want it to look and I never really thought that you know I would need to get like a canvas specific for watercolor until I don't know what I was thinking the other day and I'm like you know maybe they have a canvas for watercolor and then I searched it out and I went to Hobby Lobby I got me a canvas for watercolors and I have to try it out so I will make a video for that and I will show you guys or tell you guys what the difference is if it does feel any different if it's better if it takes in the color and the water more um effectively I guess so we will we will look into that so do tune in to my next or my next few videos <laughs> yeah and now I'm just coloring in the actual building because <laughs> I didn't do that yet but yeah so um my camera fell on my canvas and I ripped so that was kind of my motivation to get my studio that I have now my art studio set up my art studio slash you know video recording studio I guess because I didn't have a proper place to record before and then stuff like that would happen that you know my camera would either fall or it would not fit or the angle would not be right I didn't have like a proper you know filming area so recently I had been busy in that too that's why I didn't get any videos out I was um getting my studio ready I bought new stuff I put in new stuff there will be a video on that too hopefully soon but yeah a lot of my time went into that too so now hopefully I will not have any more ripped canvases <laughs> hopefully you know unless something else happens <laughs> But yeah, <clears throat> I don't know, I never actually really thought, because it never happened to me and i never seen it happen, that I never really thought that canvases could rip until I remember I had a smaller one and it was complete and everything and I really loved it until my mom was <laughs> throwing something to me from like the top of the stairs. I think it was a, what do you call it, a nose plier or screwdriver or something, or one of those tools. And I was going to catch it, except I did not catch it, and it fell right into the canvas. Because the canvas, I put the canvas on the stairs, because I was putting up the nail to hang it, and dang. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, was, that was a sad day. Because <laughs> it put a hole right in the middle of my artwork, and I was like, no. <laughs> But, you know, <laughs> I was fine. Because <laughs> I told my mom, I was like, it's okay, throw it, I'll catch it. And I did not catch it, and it killed my canvas. <laughs> so that was the day I learned that canvases can rip. <laughs> or they do rip. And that they can rip 
well being in my possession. So, yeah, just gonna, you know, try to be more careful with my canvases and YouTube, guys. Just be more careful. Because <laughs> these things do rip. <laughs> oh, man. I have some pretty sad experiences. Anyways, I am coloring in some of the smaller domes that I guess I had not colored in yet. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at my canvas stories because it was so sad. <laughs> Especially when this one ripped because this one's huge and I like sketched out everything and I was like, no. Okay, so again, my first layer of the yellow paint dried and I put on an, another layer and I was like, oh crap, this is watercolor. The first layer is going to get reactivated. So there's actually really no point of letting one dry and then you put in another one. So I put in a yellow. It was more of a goldenish yellow. Then I'm adding an orange. kind of wanted like a sunset background color. And then I'm adding in a little bit of red as well. Man, this canvas was big. And again, you can see, like you can literally see, and I felt it then. And I was like, you know, that's just how watercolors are going to work on the canvas. But you can see like small pigments and stuff. Like the circles and the dots there. And they're like that because there's water on the canvas. And they just have not been absorbed into the canvas yet. So it's kind of like that. And I'm adding more and more color to try to, you know, get that out. Because obviously I don't want to see that. But I did know, I knew this at that time too, that, you know, when it dries down, it will, just the dots will not be there like that. But yeah. So here I go adding purple. Right now it looks like, I think my brother was still here, or he was about to leave. Well, he, you'll know when he leaves because that's when I end the actual recording of these, of this, this day I guess. Yeah, I stopped making it this day and then the next day I finalized it a little. Or maybe he left, I'm not sure. <laughs> but he, yeah, I think he left and he was like... Really? Is this what this looks like? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's, it's not completed yet. Chill. Like, look at it tomorrow. But yeah, so again, just putting in more purple, trying to get the right shade and the right, you know, sunset background that I wanted. Because right now it just does not look anything. <laughs> it just looks like I have just black, not black purple color yeah so my brush had so much water and pigments in it because of the way that it is made that I could just squeeze it right out and that's what I was doing but yeah so I left it like this almost sort of kind of like this and I let it dry overnight like I'm adding more color but it's it's gonna be all it was all like wet and I left it overnight to dry and then in the morning I think I did put a little bit more of the colors but not that much and after it like dried up in the morning I just took my black marker and you know outlined everything my liner and I just outlined everything to make it prominent and because that is what I do and it looks much better you guys will see that later on and also where it got ripped, I did put in clouds so you do not see the little tiny line of the rip. So I made clouds on watercolor paper. I used actually I actually used alcohol markers on them. So you can see, you know, in no cuts, nothing, and it looks nice because it needed clouds. And you'll even see like the background, it looks like a nice background. It doesn't look as as bad <laughs> it doesn't look bad like it did before looks much better a really cool piece everyone loved it i know you guys love it just let me know that you love it in the comments below
<laughs> but yeah, that is my final piece. Thank you guys for watching and tune into my next video.